YouTube this is Phil 20 again and I'm fixing to go to Kung Fu I've done some work on the roof today as you can see I've got uh, all these rows right here and I wanted to put the panels on the top but you can see it takes uh, three rows and one of these 10 foot joints will do three panels so we have to have three rows through here and since that pops right there it won't fit now I did uh, miss a joint right there. I'm gonna have to seal that up. And any other holes that are added on, I'll have to seal that up. You can see I've gotta put, uh, I got the black roof and tar I'm gonna put on the roof with this. Once I get all the stuff mounted, um, all the, the rails will be in parallel with the other rails. I'll actually bolt them together right here for extra support right there. You can see I'll have to take these uh, two clamps off, move those to the end, and then I'll have to add the center bolts. I have to get those from the Alti store, by the way, if you want to go get something for solar, go to the Alti store and buy whatever you want. They'll sell it to you and they're dealers. Okay, so we've got this pipe right here is definitely covering the solar panels about to right there it's covering it about to right there and in the winter time it's probably going to cover it about to right here i'm hoping that this box right here isn't in front of those cells if it is and i'm going to have to move it so the worst case scenario i'll have to put a, another combined i mean i'll have to do something i'm not exactly sure what i'll do i'll have to do something uh i might rotate it and lean it down that way like with a 45 or something you know rotate the whole thing lean it down that way and that that might uh, make a big difference there for me uh, you know the wires going down I would have to add new wire which would suck but I mean it is what it is so I was just showing you guys what I've got going on so far and uh, you know, I cannot stress enough about grounding your uh, solar panels. You see this ground right here? That's directly run to its own grounding rod. And here's another one. It's connected to the grounding rod again. You can't see it very well, but it's there. I stick it straight up in the air because the path of least resistance is the path electricity will flow. And when it strikes the roof, it'll go straight to ground first. Cause it goes straight to ground from here it don't have to go through the house or nothing it goes straight outside of the ground outside and it's also got the lightning rester there now i do have i, I do I want to have a lightning restaurant inside but as we speak right now i'm you know my hands are tied uh you know it's just a lot of work a lot of enjoyment and I want to show you guys what I had going on today. So, you know, I haven't gotten it, you know, real quick. Like, I still need uh, PV wire. I need a breaker. I'm going to need, uh, I'll have to find the clips that I've got somewhere. I'll have to find those. The wire clips to hold up all the solar panel wires. Um, and I'll have uh, five strings of... 250 watt solar panels would be 3,750 watts. Um, I got a feeling that I'll be sending off my midnight solar charge controller, which currently everything's working, you know, almost up to par. It used to be more power. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to add this power right here. What I'll do is do a string right here, test the watts on the output on that one. And then I'll test the watts on the output on that one. And because all these strings right here, they all put out the same amount of power whenever you turn on the charge controller. And I noticed the charge controller jumps up and down uh, with its uh, to about 100 watts every couple of seconds. Instead of, you know, full sunlight being solid, it jumps up and down. So I'm not sure. We're going to figure it out. I mean, if I got to send it in, it, it's okay. 
it's totally okay you know they'll ship it out for me and you know have it fixed and have it back here pretty quick they normally don't have a long turnaround time is what they said on the phone so i'm just trying to do every kind of test i can do with what i got before uh, i send it in i don't want to send it in and have to pay to you know use it you know fix pay to have a tests done on i want to make sure that everything's going to work with it and if it does not have a significant increase versus these panels versus these panels that tells me specifically that the panels haven't degraded and it's time to send in the classic charge controller this is philip 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and i'm gonna holler at y'all later hello lazy to get gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace